I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So right now, we are trying to use an Elder Scroll to go look into the past and learn the Dragon Ren Shao. I tried this once before uh, in the middle of my last uh, Let's Play. But it uh, glitched out on me. But I'm hoping I'll have a little bit more luck this time. But I honor your courage. Kreef Wolf Akrin, die now in vain. There are a lot of dragons flying about. So I wonder if it's a limitation of the scripting engine that they weren't able to, uh, that they weren't able to get the weapon animations uh, done very well. Because that kind of jumpy thing that we just saw was cool, but them hitting the dragon on the snout really didn't work very well. And there is the wizard who's coming up. I don't know if he's a wizard. He looks... Like he is wearing roby things. And that looks a little bit like Greybeard's uh, robes. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone. And I guess in Skyrim, wizards can uh, use, uh, use swords pretty reasonably, so it's not completely unexpected that uh, that he might be uh, a wizard cannot be slain like a lesser dragon he is beyond our strength which is why I brought the elder scroll well dear we agreed not to use it I never agreed and if you are right I will not no, need it we will deal with Alduin ourselves here and now. Okay, so let's see if Alduin actually approaches or not. So, Alduin, you gonna show up? Yes, you are. This time you're showing up. So here he's cursing, uh, cursing Parthenax, who's the dragon who taught them uh, the Thum. Yeah, the weapon part of the animation is kind of sloppy. paid attention to the rest of the cutscenes here, they weren't able to actually get rid of Alduin permanently. But this effectively banished uh, Alduin. Fortunately, the Elder Scrolls seem to be fireproof. Yes, the world eater is gone. May the 
spirits have mercy on our souls. Okay, and now we are being pulled back into the present. And Alduin is actually here. Okay, I'm gonna save just because it Okay, so that did teach me a shout, and it is a useful shout to keep handy, so I am sticking it on my quick access bar. And where is he? The problem with this part of the game is that you need to actually get Alduin to hold still enough so that you're not just taking a freak shot. Okay, that got him. And now I'm going to summon a Dramore Lord, and I will switch to. Actually, I'll switch to a Dragon. Uh, dragon Bone Sword now. So, Dragon Bone Sword in, in the right hand. Okay, and Alduin is still suffering from. Dra I did! I used Dragon Rend. I am. Okay, Dramore Lord. And now let's get out a shield. Nice. Okay. I hit him with another one of those, but I do want to close my wounds. And let's uh, get out a shield again. Where did my... Uh, oh, did my Dramar Lord get killed so quickly? I guess it did. Okay. Okay, there's another Dramore Lord. Here's my shield. Got him. I just did. Actually, I'm going to clear the skies because it's just kind of irritating doing a fight. Did I restart the fight? I might have restarted the fight by hitting him with the sword. No, I guess he's wandering off. Okay, that's good. Or... Okay, so are you gonna land? Uh, where are you going, dude? Dude? Well, good thing that that guy has a loud voice, or he gave me a cell phone. Okay. So I guess it did advance the quest. Um, so that's it for here. Um... But I am also going to uh, advance the main war quest line because if you do it this way, um, then then you get to make peace between uh, between the Imperials and the Stormcloaks, and there's a bunch of uh, pretty cool dialogue in that that I generally like to see when I can uh, manage. But yeah, Dragon Rent makes fights a lot easier with dragons because you can manage to keep them on the ground. 
and uh, that means that you can both use swords and Dramora Lords to, um, to much more quickly kill them. And it means you can kill them more quick. Uh, you, you can, if you're fighting them in a town, you can probably kill them before. Uh, you can probably kill them before uh, they end up killing too many NPCs. So we're going to head up and deliver the axe. Ulfric. It's a pity you've chosen the wrong side. You can return this axe to the map. I expect a great deal of excitement in the city of Whiterun in the near future. Oh, true, I may meet my end in a dark alley with a dagger in my back. But the people have seen the truth, and they will not back down. Oh yeah, Mr. Racist di uh, Dude. I have shown the people that when our Jarls drink the Empire's milk, it makes us weak. I right. must not show them the path that will lead us back to our strength. Yes, ethnic no cleansing. No without sacrifice. No wheat without threshing the chest. The Empire and the Jarls who back them must be swept away. The people demand it. I demand it. Sooner than you think. If he's not with us, he's against us. Yes. Knows that. They all know that. How long? Oh, no! Enough of this. So I don't really have any beef with the guards. Most of my beef beef is with Ulfric. We have slipped away. And now we have to return to Whiterun to return the message that Ulfric, um, Ulfric contends war. Now obviously I'm not behaving as a diplomat would in the real world, where attacking or uh, attacking a diplomat is unacceptable and for diplomats to actually use diplomatic cover for violence is also unacceptable generally speaking a lot of the time in the real world people use diplomatic offices to also house intelligence services hi oh Apparently, it didn't take too long for the word to spread that. Oh, is Ulfric following me? Hi. Fortunately, these guys are not particularly fast runners. I guess I, because I don't have any beef with them, I'd rather not kill them. I guess what I'll do is I will fade from their view.
and there is a dragon up there, looks like. Are, are these the... Oh, it's Dawnguard. But they're after me for a reason completely independent f uh, from... from messing with the people in Dawnguard. They do not like me because I am a vampire. Oh really? Yes, you did find me. The unpleasant way of failing to recognize that when you when you are hunting vampires, you face certain practical difficulties. Okay, so now I can return to Dragon's Reach and let them know that Ulfric is planning to attack. Now this is a, a, a pretty fun battle in the game, but I'm going to use it to showcase a spell from a mod. Now the spell does completely break the battle. It makes it easy but also kind of fun. This is pretty much the only time you're going to see me use this uh, this spell. It is, I believe, it's intended to uh, intended to be a game breaker. And it, good lord, it, it's just about as game breaky as you can get. But it's also a lot of fun. And this is the the best uh, battle in the game to showcase how broken it is. That's a courier, actually. Hey, dude. Stay sharp. Okay, Balgriff. I knew that would be his response. As soon as you left, I sent word to General Tullius, who's been kind enough to lend us some of his troops and Legate Scipius here. Let Ulfric try to make it past our combined forces. I'll turn you back over to your legion. Legate Scipius will have use for you. Gods be with us all. Sir, I, I have a, a storm a closer here. In force. Wait, where'd that other guy go? Down to the front line. This is it. We must hold the city. Now move it. Okay, so this is the the goofy part. So I'm going to leave the Dragonbane sword in my right hand, and I'm going to put... Uh, where is this totally, totally broken power? It might be under alteration. Yes, master the space-time continuum. Auxiliary. Now the reason this spell is fun, uh, it's for the same reason, and it gives you the same kind of fun as having uh, a sandbox type environment like Second Life. 
it, it tweaks a fundamental uh, set of rules for the game in a way that kind of makes you question how real th the environment is, or at least it takes away most of the difficulty and pleasure of making, making your way through a tough situation. You'll see what I mean in a moment. But what I'm trying to say is it makes the game easy by changing fundamentals and uh, and by giving you enough knobs to completely play with the situation it gives you absolute control over a situation or at least near absolute but yes the battle is about to begin now, I'm guessing it, uh, that Skyrim has unified police and uh, and soldiers So that, I think, is its the interesting wedge that people face when, uh, when they decide which side to take. Okay, so... Her face model seems a little bit less bad than that. To Ulfric Stormcloak and the rebel Yaros who support him. But make no mistake, what we do here today, we do for Skyrim and her people. By cutting out the disease of this rebellion, we will make this country whole again. Ready now! Everyone with me! For the Empire! For the Legion! Yeah, so... As I said, the, the big mistake that people could make is they could fail to to realize that you could oppose both the Thalmor. Okay, this is the spell. Okay, so... Basically, you've almost stopped time. And the reason I chose this as a, as a place to demonstrate uh, it is that you have a lot of foes, and some of the sub-goals in the game involve preventing them from actually reaching and destroying those Uh, those barriers. Plus, and I'm hoping to do this at least once uh, in this, you can pluck arrows out of the air if they've been fired. And I imagine you theoretically could pluck them out of the air. In the normal game, but you'd have to have vanishingly bizarre timing. Oh, and it's kind of cool just watching this stuff fall down in slow motion. And yes, you could search... Oh no, I guess you can't. You can't search somebody whose body is still falling. Okay, here are some more soldiers. 
Now, if you're quick enough, you can actually watch the soldiers spawn onto the battlefield. I would like to be able to see her pull her bow. And, uh... See, let's speed things up a little bit. Oh no, that's too slow. Okay, so I don't think she's let loose her arrow yet. Uh, now she has. So we can just grab the arrow right out of the air if we can manage to. There we go. Now that is cool. Of course, you can tell how, how impossible it's got to be in. Uh, playing normally if it's hard to do in uh, in this slow time environment. I guess this bow hasn't quite managed to fall down yet. And what is going on here? So I guess this guy might have been hit by a flame arrow of some sort. It's neat to watch. Yeah, he's pulling his bow back. And, oh, more, more soldiers have spawned. So you're slowed a little bit by this, too. Let's keep moving. See, we're not seeing any red dots over there, so... Yeah, the... Soldiers are somewhere over here. Oh, they, they're they still not solid yet. So yeah, it, it reveals some quirks of the game's... Uh, So yeah, I'm, I'm killing these guys before they're even solid yet, which is pretty classy. Okay, so I'm not sure, are those... I wonder if I can unrelenting force them like this. Oh, so that's what an unrelenting force looks like from outside. I wonder if I can be hit by my own unre unrelenting force. Okay, so it's definitely pushing people. It doesn't seem to be pushing me. Yeah, that's pretty messy. Where is it? Oh, that that's is this the guy who's still alive? Or is maybe somebody in this mess is still alive? Okay, no longer. Now there's So being hit by a second unrelenting force at the same time, while they're already in the air, and dead. Uh, well, it doesn't really seem to be doing that much. Okay, so let's keep on checking out what's going on over here. Okay, so those look like the catapults. Now, ordinarily, you, you shouldn't be able to see these unless you have your graphics detail turned way, way up.
You know, these actually seem to be uh, unmanned. And the tent is kind of ghostly. Yeah, so this is for, for what you get if you, if you have your graphics turned super up and you're squinting off into the distance. They do want you to be able to see some Stormcloak uh, present over here, even if they're not going to bother providing the people. Oh wait, there we go, there's somebody. And there is another person. And over here. So I guess I was a little bit wrong. There are, they do bother to populate these. But yeah, we're gonna head back over White Run because I'm worried. I think that the enemy soldiers normally spawn close to the city, and unless I can prevent them from attacking the city uh, en masse, then I would potentially lose the uh, the quest. So let's keep on moving. Interesting. Yeah, so if you stand still, you can watch the flames uh, shift around here. Yeah, it does look like a lot of the... Well, that's interesting. So the game scales some of these things into the scene in real time. I normally would expect the rendering to be relatively independent of the time scale of the game, but it looks like it's actually uh, pretty dependent. So I expect this to be fully solid now, and it is. Okay. Now the game has put another Stormcloak soldier in. I think he's reaching back for, he or she is reaching back for his or her arrow. Yep, and that's what it looks like to take an arrow from your quiver. Now you can see that that's obviously not how arrows would work. You would actually be pulling it out of your quiver rather than having it materialize on your back when you reach out near your quiver, but it's not like people are going to pay that much attention to this level of fine detail. And actually it's pretty impressive that they're even rendering to this extent. Like, uh, kvetching too much about this would be kind of like complaining if we could zoom in, uh, zoom into their body and not find all their internal organs or find that, oh my goodness, parts of their brain are, uh, have an unrealistic shape or something like that. Like, we know that, that the game isn't about rendering everything absolutely perfectly. And that does, should not limit our enjoyment of the game. Anyhow. Oh, and there is a friendly arrow which is coming in to visit this archer. Will he let loose his arrow before it hits him? No. Or her. Oh, it looks like it's a her. And she's gonna let loose with her arrow. I think. Okay, the bow is being compressed here. Is she gonna let go? So normally I think, don't archers, uh, I was under the impression that normally they shot between their fingers. Maybe they don't. I might just have some confused ideas about archery. I think this is the blood splatter from that arrow hitting her. 
you can see it kind of spreading out. Oh, another arrow is coming in to hit her. And it just managed to miss her. Okay, and there's her arrow. Okay, we killed her. But let's stop this arrow from hurting our, our side here if we can, if we can manage. Actually, I guess... Oh, okay, I took the hit. That wasn't quite what I meant to do, but it'll work. Okay, there's another friendly arrow shooting out. Oh, a good number of friendly arrows shooting out. Yeah, so that's why in these times you would ideally be very reluctant to mess with people who have really good artillery support. Okay, that should push that storm cloak there around. I'll step back here and cut this guy down. This soldier is still very much alive, but he was just uh, hit with the shout. Okay, so we'll let him stand up. We'll head over here and chop this guy down. Or well, chop this woman down, I suppose. And we can head back over here and see what a well-placed shout can do. Okay, it looks like he's getting a nice bit of air there. Oh, Rika has decided to run out and actually I want to see what, where Rika is going. Where are you going? Rika! Hey, hey! Rika? I guess we're done. Yeah, so that's the only time that you'll really see me uh, use that spell. So we don't need the barricades anymore. The halls of Southern Guard are no doubt ringing with your praises in defeating these storm cloak traitors. You have proven the hollowness of their cause and the fullness of your hearts. The citizens of White Run are forever in your debt. But Alfred will not stop here. No, he will continue to strike out against any true Nord who remains faithful to the Empire. He will continue to sow discord and chaos wherever he can. And so, we must, each one of us, continue to fight this insurrection 
Lest our fallen brothers have died for naught. Lest our honor be lessened, should we allow these bloodthirsty beasts to prowl our lands. Carry on, men. My gratitude and blessings go with you. For White Run, for the Empire. Okay, so now. Thank you for your role in all of this. It'd be my honor should you decide to make White Run your home. Speak with Preventus. You'll make the necessary arrangements. I could see myself buying a home here. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Of course. You already saved what but I don't understand. All to win. The world eater himself. But I didn't say anything. Now what's this nonsense? I want to help you, Dragon. Do you think the storm clothes will sit idle while this dra No. I can't risk weakening the city while we then but getting both sides to agree to a troop. Maybe. What are the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Okay, so this is gonna be fun. We've uh, shape. Uh, we've decided to do the timing of our two quests: um, dragon hunting and the civil war, so that we're forced to negotiate a temporary peace treaty, uh, a peace treaty um, between. Uh, between the Stormcloaks and the Empire in order to trap a dragon in the castle of uh, Whiterun. But we need to head up and talk to the Greybeards and get them ready to get them to agree to host it. Arnagir. He is out in the courtyard again. Oh, is he up? He might be up on uh, playing about on the mountain uh, or on the uh, tower up here. Oh, what are you doing, dude? I am kind of curious what would happen if I were to shout him off the uh, off the cliff here, but that wouldn't be a great idea. We heard the dragon ring shout from here. You defeated him. I feared as much. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of voice. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. So you're Switzerland. The dragon will lead you to all the Oh, you're doing that again? Really? Artanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road even the Greybeards. So be it. Tell Ulfric and 
We will see if they still remember us. Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I will do what I can to bring them to town. Okay. So. I will head up to Solitude and uh, make the proposal to General Tullius. And I'll have to hope when I return to Whiterun that they've calmed down a little bit from my uh, using unrelenting uh, force on them. Not entirely certain if that was a good idea. Suppose you'd enchant my sword. The Lord played your delicate part. Being so bad, Otter keeps me fed. My work. Okay. The winking. By defeating Ulfric and Whiterun, we have solidified the allegiance of the Jarl. Perhaps the Stormcloaks will soon lose heart for this little rebellion of theirs once and for all. I'm promoting you to Quester. Take this blade, a symbol of your new station and responsibility. I'll keep an eye on your progress. The Empire rewards excellence, and so do I. You'd be wasted as a regular soldier. I have special plans for you. You'll be of greater... Make your way to our hidden military camp in the Pale. Or the Empire. Subject to report. Okay, so that's my next assignment, but... I didn't expect it to be that big. We will help the Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms. They are getting to be a problem. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragon. Well, you may have a point. By all accounts, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as badly. Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Okay. So there's that. And then I will return to Whiterun and see if... Uh, see if I've messed up too badly or not by attacking Ulfric. I mean, it would certainly make the game a lot shorter if you could just immediately kill Ulfric when you're in his castle, but um, he is set as an uh, essential character, and that means he cannot be killed uh, Except in, uh, except through quests which temporarily lift that status from him. You're that one from the college. Heard about you. So we're gonna save before we fast travel. Um, And we'll see if we are immediately attacked and we can't get the guards to calm down, then I'll do quests, other quests for a few days. I think eventually, uh, eventually you're forgiven for what you do in each hold.
maybe forgiven is the wrong word, but eventually they calm down. I think I still might have a bounty. So let's go up and chat Wait, with the guard. I know you. There's no mistake. You're a wanted woman, and it's time to pay for your crime. Good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen goods you carry, and you're free to go. All right then. Okay, so that cleared my bounty, and I will head inside and see if they are willing to talk peace. Now there is still a chance that Ulfric and uh, the other guy will remember me enough to immediately attack me. But if not... Hey, schmuck. Yes, make it quick. I'm a... It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What did they... I have the greatest respect for the great... But I can't afford to appear weak. I Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. Even Tullius may be forced to Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Oh bite me, schmuck. Anyhow. The stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. Oh really? Well, now if I can help it. It's dangerous out there. I aim to make it. So I guess these guys are actually going to walk up to uh, High Hrothgar. Now, if you like, you can actually follow them. The Greybeards have called a peace council at High Rothgard. And can you believe it? Both Ulfric, Stormcloak, and General Tullius have agreed to go. Looks like been looking courier. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. That's nice. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. That's Looks nice. Like that's it. Bye-bye. Got to go. This might be one of the most boring things to do on uh, on Earth, but I would like to follow these two uh, to uh, High Hrothgar. Um, and so we're going to be doing that for the next uh, for the next few episodes. I'm just curious to to watch them fight. Well, except I've seen. Okay, maybe that's not that great of an idea. So Ulfric does have the voice, and he can use Unrelenting Force, but it's not like you never see him fight. Yeah, so maybe I won't do that. But in any case, uh, I'm Pat Cunn. This has been a Let's Play of Skyrim. And I will see you in the next episode.